this is another episode of Going to Sleep with Sam Harris. Okay, I thought I only needed to have 15 minutes of housekeeping to defend my actions after the El Paso shooting, but then the intellectually dishonest, woke, regressive, far-left Islamic enablers on Reddit triggered me, and I decided I needed 42 minutes more to set the record straight. So in this episode of housekeeping, I'll discuss why telling Irish people to go back to their own countries 200 years ago would not have been racist in America. I'll reiterate why we all stare at war with Islam. Because the 1990s clash of civilizations model that the neoconservatives and Ayan Hirsi Ali cling to is still very relevant in the present day. And I'll remind you never ever to forget about 9-11 even if 50 years pass and I'm long dead because of a bullet from an anti-Semite that I enabled with my very alt-right leaning rhetoric, I urge all of you to just forget about the Oklahoma bombings and all the right-wing violence in the present day and to focus instead on the very real hypothetical thought experiment that I want you to picture which is that uh, um, Afghanistan. Afghanistan could bomb America with a long-range Stingo missile. And then after this, I want you to let me explain for 42 more minutes how the regressive left is responsible for Trump winning this election, and we have to fight against the left as a monolith, actually, Otherwise, Trump is going to be reelected. Okay. And then I want you to stay tuned for the next episode when I'll have three hours of housekeeping to respond to the criticism that this episode will invariably receive from the very dishonest left. And I'll triple down on my idea that Trump didn't say anything at all that could be construed as racist. And then I'll introduce more ahistorical thought experiments. I'd like you to picture if it were hundreds of years ago and the Queen of England had told Scottish workers to go back to their own country. In no way would that be inherently racist. Therefore, it's not a jump to say that although we can't read Trump's mind or ever know if what he says has racist intent, well, we should always try to give people on the right the benefit of the doubt. We have to be very charitable to them. Otherwise, we will have another four years of Trump. I, of course, don't apply the same standards to the left. I haven't renounced my criticism or Andy uh, Nugo yet or renounced Antifa. But never mind that. And just forget about how in a few months, Trump will probably say that wetbacks are racist, criminals, and in first <coughs> are low-class welfare queens. People who aren't pretty should go back to their own countries. In no way can you construe Trump's words as racist. Now, I have no doubts that he's racist, so don't you regressive liberals criticize me. I happen to be a liberal. Of course, liberals happen to disagree with me, but they're just not woke up yet, like we should torture Muslims if uh, there needs to be, uh, like if there's a ticking time bomb or whatever, or that we should racially profile, or that maybe there's no rape culture in America, but don't you dare say that I am not a liberal, you dishonest leftist. Ding dong dong, wing, new age music. <laughs>